All right, guys, and let's go through what we'll be doing next term in weeks one to five. So we're looking at net and wall games. So what are we going to discover? What games do you already know that are related to net and wall games? And why are they called net and wall games? So begin to think about, you know, where we've spoken about invasion games, striking and fielder games. Why are these particular sports called net and wall games? So Miss P is away for week one. So in week two, you'll be setting your learning goals for term four. Think about what you know about net and wall games. What do you want to know? And what do you need to do to find out what you want to know in the net and wall games? So equipment that we're going to be using for the first weeks one to five are tennis rackets, tennis ball. Uh, we'll be using a tennis court, so playing on a tennis court. The net of the tennis um, court, water bottles, and also runners, please. So the first couple of weeks, we're going to be doing some hot shots tennis, which is run by a sporting schools program. Now, you may hear some key words, forehand, backhand, volley, serve, fault baseline, attack, defend, and reaction. So these are the words that we're going to be unpacking throughout the whole lessons and throughout the whole four weeks. And as you can see, I've got some color coding dots here just to give you an idea of the court layout and the marking. So over here, so the red dots are the baseline. This is where we start the match or start the serve. The net, the blue, the yellow dots are where we need to serve the ball. So the ball must land in these areas when we do serve the ball. Out for a singles game and out for a doubles game. So if you've got two players playing together, so you and your partner versus another pair, this is the out, or if you're playing just against someone else, this is where the out area is. So we'll definitely be unpacking these words and how they relate to our net and wall game of tennis. So how will you become an outstanding health and PE student during the net and wall game? So here are the five little things that we've been working through in term three. So participation, positive attitude, resilience, teamwork, questioning. These are little things that are going to make you even better. So participating, we learn by participating. Positive attitude, ready to learn with the right attitude. Uh, resilience, ready to accept any challenges and learn from any mistakes. Um, by working together, you, you'll achieve more. Never be afraid to ask any questions that will support your learning. So the challenge is to, clip, to complete at home. Use a ball, draw a circle outside using chalk. So bounce the ball and catch inside the circle 20 times. Bounce the ball and move towards the ball. So see the image over here where Miss P is doing. So this will encourage you to move towards the ball when playing a game of tennis or even playing a game of net and wall games. And then create your own activity and share with the class through Google Classroom. Once you finish your challenge, answer the following questions and post on Google Classroom. And here are the two questions. Are you looking forward to our net and wall games? And what other net and wall games do you know?